video, we're going to take a look at one of the VFPX features called the Control Renamer. This is something that Tamar Grainer had posted on there recently, and as with a lot of the things that you find in VFPX, it's really a question of how do you use it and how can you use it best. The Control Renamer, you just need to run it once, and what it will do, you just say do Control Renamer, and it registers itself as a builder within FoxPro. Now once you've got it in, Anytime you've built up a form, you can activate it simply by right-clicking and choosing Builder, and it will show up as on the list, Control Renamer Builder. Now let's take a look at how this actually works. Here is a form, a traditional form, that I've basically built by dragging things from the standard FoxPro Foundation class libraries. So as a result, you end up seeing things like really weird funky names, zero underscore text box one, and so forth. If you've got any kind of framework that you've worked with before, and you've seen how people do it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. People end up using their defaults, and then when you come back to change it, it takes a little bit more time. So for example, if I take a look at the OK button, the OK button I don't have any code in, but if I take a look at one of the other buttons, like Command Cancel, I'm actually referring to this weird naming convention in there. If I take a look at one of the other buttons on here, for example, it's got it all over the place. I'm using it with a locate for directly inside. I'm adding it in. And you can notice this naming convention isn't something that you may be used to. But if you're getting code from some other source, or you're going through your old code and you find you need to make a change, this is really where you start looking at it going, geez, you know, I don't want to touch the existing code. I don't want to break anything. Well, this is really where the value of this tool comes in. One other last piece, if we take a look at the opening, we're using this dot O underscore combo box one and so forth, just to add some items in. So let's see how this tool works. If I right mouse click on any object on here and I pull up a builder, it immediately goes into the rename control, the control renamer. Now, as I saw, saw earlier, if I just did it on a form that already had other builders possible, such as this, where I have a form builder as well as the control renamer, I can simply choose it directly. Now the default color that it uses for what items you've got highlighted, if you notice over on the left hand side, we can actually click and as we click it actually highlights the buttons or the objects that we've actually got selected. And it highlights them in that bright red so you can immediately easily see which ones they are. It's kind of nice if we actually had some options on there to pull it down, but you can actually get a feel for what we're talking about. Now to actually make a change, you can actually come to one, and I'm just going to use this first text box at the very top, it's right here, highlights in red. And now I just give it a new name. So I'm going to say text search. That's what I want to call it. So I just click on rename. And it closes out of there. Now you'll notice it's done the rename here. But if I double click on the object, it's also made the change in my code. So it's taking it in two different places and it's making that change. So I don't have to worry about having to come back in and making sure I haven't messed around with any of the code. I can make the change directly in this object and it does it. Now one thing that it's not going to do is change it if you're referencing it in other code classes or other components that you may have that are, sub, that are subclassed off of this. But it does make it easier for you to make those initial changes that you need to work with. And one other quick point that I found was very useful. So if I right mouse click and I choose up the builder, this can get kind of weird to look at. I come down to here and here's text box 2 that I want to change. So I go to text box 2 and I'm going to say this is going to be the text name. Now, I also want to make a couple of other changes, so I'm going to go to this text box here, and I'm going to change this called the check text edit. And maybe I have a grid on another page, I'm going to say this is going to be my grid list. And even the page frame, I'm going to make the change. Now, you'll notice that while I'm making these changes, I'm not seeing them take place here just yet. That's fine. I'm just going to make it in here, page frame. Once I've actually clicked on rename, we will see those changes take place. And they've all been made. Now, one important part to note here: if you just hit, if you cancel out of this without making a change, those saving those changes have been removed. You are not saving them, so it is actually live and dynamic with the current builder that you're in. The other key point that I want to pull out here, when we're looking at that builder, is you've basically got the controls here, and you can choose by alphabetical order or by container. So this has been a quick overview of the control renamer.